Hey travelers, this is Jason Moen with Fat Tested Travel at Disneyland in Anaheim, California today. And I'm gonna give you a complete walkthrough so you know what you can likely fit on if you come here. Uh, if you don't know, this is Fat Tested Travel. I am 5'8", 350 pounds with a 54 inch waist and I help you know what you can ride all over the world. It's time for Pirates of the Caribbean. They have a restaurant in their Pirates. And there be plundering pirates lurking in every... I'd raise a toast. Now we slowly just post float past the line. They have a very beautiful and a very haunting at night, a haunted mansion. I really enjoy this. Let's come back at night and show you this one. Next, let's go fat test the haunted mansion. This gallery, where you see paintings of some of our guests. Concluding, almost as though you sense that this chamber has no windows and... Looks like the happy haunts are very fat friendly. On to the next one. Next up, we're gonna go see our friend Winnie the Pooh. Disneyland definitely wins with better honey pots. As you see, the honey pot is one long bench with a bar, and I fit just fine. And now this. What a wonderful I mean, of course Winnie the Pooh passes the fat test. He is poo sized. Alright guys, next up is Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Slide down into it. Down to this gay pod base. Those toys are programmed to return you to Batu. Hurry and don't get caught. <laughs> what the? <laughs> We're pro. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, go to the prison. <laughs> 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 Shields. Shields. I see no evidence. Ow! Found the alarm.
So that is the same as Disney World almost exactly. And thankfully they both passed the fat test. Exploring Galaxy's Edge and up next is the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. For those who don't know me, I am Hondo Onaka. All right, here's what it looks like. Don't bring it to the inside. Good job, engineer. Right, pilot. Push the flashing button to take off. Ah, there it is. After that plane. Right, engineer. Fire the hole. Now, just as I promised that plane. Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run passes the fat test. It's time to fat test Big Thunder Mountain. And here's what the seats look like. Well, it clearly passed the fat test and it remains one of the best rides on both coasts. Time for Jungle Cruise here at Disneyland. The turnstile is extremely tight on this. Raise your hand right up. I'll raise my hand right up. Oh, we'll take a minute. What's time to take our heads over the stream? No, this, but I guess we'll see. All right, let's do it again. I don't want to look at this. But he's actually pretty sweet. And it's lit, okay? All right, let's get out of here. Now, on the left hand side over here, we do have bamboo. The most weird animal in the jungle. The African elephant. Please do not play cards with any other big cat. Good adventure. That's it. Look, the monkey around. I know I do. Now, on you. We're going to make a side stop here. I want you guys to look into that water and tell me what you see, okay? Where are those? Oh, no, the monkey around. We do stand a cheesy joke here and the Jungle Cruise passes the fat test. I would say one thing I appreciate about Disneyland is they have a lot of more seats available for the parade. Let's go check out the inside of the castle. Their seats are side by side. They look quite different. The good thing is the loading goes a lot faster here. And I don't think it's just the uh, double. I think there's actually more uh, to the trains. Yeah, it's very tight, but I'm in here. We'll see if I pass. So it was very tight around the leg, so it was, uh, I can't necessarily say I recommend it, but it did pass. I put it in the orange category, though it's a lot smoother than the other one and easier to get out of at the end. All right, guys, it's time to do Star Tours. The adventure continues.
And my name isn't Roger, it's G292. Roger, Roger. Good to see you here. That large, colorful projection of yourself being skinny. This is a 3D adventure. I like these glasses. Here's the seats. The biggest trouble you're going to have is with the belt because, as you can see, the buckle is kind of underneath the armrest. Pilot! Have you seen them? No one on this transport could possibly be a spy. Give me part two! Then you must So Tarsaurs clearly passes the fat test. On to the next one. Next up is Astro Orbiter. As you guys know uh, from Disney World, this is the one on top of the building. So it, you have to do an elevator and all, and it takes a, quite a bit longer to get onto this ride. Looks like this will be a lot faster. All right, here's with the rocket. So I did make it in here. The belt's plenty big, but my I had to slide a... This was not very comfortable and easy to get in. I don't know if I recommend this one. <laughs> Reaching that was a little difficult, but I got it. It passes the fat test, but man, it's going on the orange list. I tell you what, if you guys aren't liking and commenting and all that i don't know what else i can do for y'all next up it's autopia they're just random orange uh, trees bushes whatever so it's just one long belt you could have a smaller person beside you it's a little bumpy Very stable photo here, video here. You can actually go downhill. It does pass the fat test. It's loud and smelly, but if you want to ride it, come on in. All right, guys, next up is Finding Nemo Submarine Adventure. We'll be riding in the Nautilus. These seats just come down. There's plenty of room. Next up, it's time for the Matterhorn bobsleds. Let's roll. I've been told that one and four are the best numbers for the big folks. So here it is, it's a belt system instead of All right, so you can ride that ride, but I started cramping the moment I got in and it hurt a lot. So I don't know if I necessarily recommend it, but it did pass. Unfortunately, somewhere I did lose my fuel rod, so I'm gonna have to buy another one. So that ride cost me about 30 bucks. Speaking of, I guess that was a good time to tell you if you want to go to Disney World and or Disneyland, uh, I do have a guide available. It's primarily geared towards Disney World, but I'm gonna be adding some stuff for Disneyland for everybody that's already bought it. It's only $7. You can get that at fattestedtravel.com. If you go to fattestedtravel.com, you can find out it's got a, uh, a savings guide, a checklist for Disney World. I'm gonna be adding Disneyland soon. It's got a packing guide. It's got a confidence booster for those of you that feel like you just need to have a little more confidence going on rides. All that available for $7 at uh, fattestedtravel.com. All right, guys, next up is Astro Blaster. This is the same ride as uh, Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin over in Disney World. As you see, it's one big bench seat. Blasting with everything you got. 
Well, I may not have done wonderful, but at least the Astro Blaster passed the fat test. All right, guys, it's time for Storybook Land Canal Boats. This is my first time riding and I'm very excited. One thing I've noticed about Disneyland, it has a lot more turnstiles. What you said, please. Boat. Children, so that way our journey doesn't take any unexpected turns. Big bad wolf who pees in his cave. Who always wanted to chase after those three little pigs. But don't worry, folks, they have a pen one made out of 100%. In fact, Storybook Land is filled with such fantastic places. Mm -hmm. Then we have places like Adrabal. Those salty chalice. They blew all through sideways and even on the evening of truth. Yes, they were brightness and getting to hear the whistle on the Look at midnight, her coach turned back into a pumpkin, which you can still see right up there. This place of favorite of Master Story of the Snow Cover Mountains. The two sisters. So, Storybook Landing definitely passed the fat test. It's going to be hard to look around and see all of the little miniatures, but they are very cool. Make sure to subscribe if you would like more fat test to travel. Next up, let's fat test is the small world in Disneyland. I love this facade here and that you're actually outdoors for part of it. Wow, that's cool. It's two o'clock. Here's the seats. The happiest cruise that ever sailed. Okay, this is so much cuter than ours. <laughs> we made it to Canada, I guess. Girl, it's a small world. It's Peter. Pinocchio! Aladdin and Jasmine with the lamp. Also, the animatronics look a lot closer to you here so you can see more detail in everything. The hippo just looks sleepy. Is that Pumbaa with a snake? Three caballeros. Looks like we've made our way under the sea. Lilo and Stitch. That's awesome. So tonight, we once again invite you to wish upon stars, to step into the unknown, and to join us on this, our wondrous journey. They say you can dream of being more than once to show you come true. Next up is Peter Pan's flight. Peter Pan definitely passed his bat test. Next up is one of my favorite things in almost any theme park, which is a carousel. And this was, is King Arthur's carousel. Please remain seated or standing where you are until the carousel comes to a full. This carousel was built in 1922. This is my horse. We made it! Little step, neither one could add. Beauty of the Clearly, King Arthur's Carousel passes the fat test. All right, guys, time for Alice in Wonderland. So for this one, you probably want to ride in the front by yourself. There's a little more leg room, and this bar here would make it pretty hard for two people to fit in there if you're bigger. <laughs> he, went, he went this way. 
I this ride is so like the best kids ride I've ever been on. This is the Clearly that passed the fat test. It was so adorable. That was really, really cute. Alright guys, next up it's the teacups. I love the teacups. So how are we dividing this up? Here we go. My new ride companions. Say hello. We, all three of us made it in. She done pulled out the light. It clearly passed the fat test. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and follow. It's time for Snow White. Along with their regular seats, it looks like they have an accessible uh, vehicle. And I'm going to show you guys what that one looks like as well. So this is the regular one, and you should be fine in this. But I'm going to show you the accessible one. So, you just like more. so that part comes up to make it easier to enter. Oh yes, what? precious children of yours. <laughs> Pinocchio's Daring Journey. Same ride vehicle. I got it just like me. Like this way. That may be the scariest ride in Disneyland, uh, but it passes the fat test. Next up is Dumbo. For your safety, safety, safety for your friends. This is a ride that's actually in every property around the world and it passes the fat test. It's time to fat test Mr. Toad's wild ride. Just one large lap bar. That was a weird fever dream, but it passed. Now it's time for Runaway Railway. This is so much better than ours. Right? Already this, you can tell. this is great.
Hey guys, but I've got one last fat test to ride for you. It's gonna be so much fun. But before I, we get to that, I wanted to really quick just thank Hojo Anaheim, Howard Johnson's there. It is about 13 minutes from Disneyland and it, they were so kind to host me for a couple of nights of my stay and I ended up staying the entire time and it was fantastic. I've got a link below for you in the description. You can save 15% off of your stay if you're going to Disneyland and I did a short fat testing it you can go check that out but thank you Hojo Anaheim that was a blast and you guys are phenomenal all right guys we're about to get really stupid it's 49 degrees we're getting on Splash Mountain at 10 40 10 59 let's do this there it is here I didn't make it <laughs> This is my friend Vic. No! No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, it's so cold. That was the first small one. Just a reminder, the only reason we're using some lights is because we are the last boat of the night and I would never recommend or do this any other way. <laughs> The laughing place is really just them laughing at how stupid we are. <laughs> Well, it passed a very wet and cold fat test, and I think that is the perfect way to end this fat-tested walkthrough of Disneyland. Thanks to all of my friends. There's only a few of them left here that joined me on this, and uh, if you guys ever want to meet up at a park, please make sure to let me know, and subscribe, follow. I'll see you guys in the next one.